Hey guys, Seb from Time Flies Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to display your Android screen on any PC. All you'll need is your computer, an internet connection, and your phone. There's no need for a root. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is head over to your internet browser. In this case, I'll be using Google Chrome. Once your search engine has loaded, look up, mirror up, and search it. Here you get mirrorup.com, the link will be in the description. So once you're at the website, we're going to head over here to the right where it says product and we're going to click on that. Once you've clicked on it, you'll see that there's sender software as well as receiver software. In this case, we'll be using Windows, so we are uh, going to download Windows receiver. You'll see that we'll be presented with this screen and we'll see that's in beta and down here we're going to click on try now. So we're just going to save that to our downloads or wherever you want to save it and you'll see it's a zip file so when we click on it WinRAR will automatically um, unpack it for us. So we can close out of our browser and drag the application onto our desktop and close WinRAR. So once you have the setup here, you just double click it and you'll notice that this screen pops up. Once you get to the screen, just click next. You can decide where you want the destination location to be and select next. And here you can decide if you want a start menu folder. Next. And I'm going to create a desktop icon. Alright, now we can install it. It should take a few seconds to install. Alright, so here we have the application on our computer, and now using this application, I'm going to be using it on my phone to show you what you do on your Android phone for this to work. Alright, so once you're on your Android phone, you're going to go over to the Play Store, and we're going to look up Mirror Op, same thing we looked up on our internet browser. And once there, you should be presented with about four options, and we're going to click the second, which says to and it says mirror op sender for galaxy where it says open on my phone it should say install for you guys and that's what you're going to click you're going to install it and once you've done so you should see an app that says sender for galaxy on your phone so i'm going to click on that and you'll see there are four options play stop pause and home if i click play and i have the desktop application of mirror op open it will display my device onto my computer as I'm doing right now. If I click stop, it will terminate the connection and my phone will no longer be on the computer. If I click home, it'll just take me to my home device, uh, my home screen, I'm sorry, and pause, we'll just pause it. Um, and you'll see there are six options when we click on the settings button on our phone. Rotate, which gives you a number of angles to rotate like in that direction. Angular correction, which is just about the same thing. Quality, which I have on high, it will give you three options, low, medium, and high, depending on your connection, because if you put a, if you have a, a bad connection, you might want to put it on low so that your, your um, phone is a bit faster when you are displaying it onto your computer. Max resolution has four options, low, medium, high, and very high, and I am at the very top setting, so you may see a bit of lag on your computer screen. Uh, remote control will allow you to use your mouse to control your device, which is pretty nice, but I disable it for now because I don't want to mess with it. And more will be last session benchmark and image codec. Alright, so for those of you who are wondering how gaming looks on this device, how it, how it um, first of all, how the quality is and if it lags, I'll be using Real Basketball to show you if it does lag, which it does indeed lag. Um, but if I put it on lower setting, it wouldn't lag as much. So as you can see, it's very laggy, but once I take a few shots, you'll see it is extremely laggy, actually. So we'll quit out of there, go to Center for Galaxy, and Settings, Quality, we'll put to Medium. Then we'll put the Max Resolution to, let's say, Medium as well. And you'll notice that the screen actually got a bit bigger, which I'll have to extend my recording software to it. Alright, so... Let's go over to the game again, and it is a tad bit faster, actually quite a bit faster from what I can see. 
So if we take a shot, we'll see that it's pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend using this for using this um, mirror up for recording gameplays or things of that nature because it does in fact lag unless you do it in low quality but uh, that's pretty much it for me guys I hope you enjoyed the video that's how you do it if you have any questions or concerns just leave a comment and I'll be really happy to reply thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the next video peace